fake it till you make it. Okay. So, we got Fluttershy. Oh, is that the Sanctuary, actually? I think that is. I think- wait, is that from the, the new intro? I don't- I don't really remember that much. This- this, uh, picture. Picture. Looks like it's from the, uh, what you call it? The new intro. I'm not sure, though. Last episode was actually, like, somehow entertaining? Like, what? I felt so bored and so dead inside during that premiere, but then that- that last episode, it's like, okay, this is, uh, this is entertaining. Again, I still have very, very high doubts that I'm going to actually like this or any of the more episodes, but guess I'll see. Really don't know what this will be about. I mean, fake it till you make it. That's, uh, that's a saying, you know? I generally think that's true. If you, like, if, if you pretend you know what you're doing, then eventually you'll just, it'll just, you'll just know what you're doing. Honestly, like, I feel like... <laughs> Like, if you put on, like, a suit and get, like, a briefcase and you walk around, like, a, a, um, a courtroom or something, no one will question you, even if you're not supposed to be there, because you look like you're supposed to be there. You just act like you belong. Anyways, I guess that's what this will be about. Still got very low expectations for this. But who knows? M maybe I'll just love Season 8 for some reason. <laughs> There's also the school, which wasn't relevant to anything last episode. Um, again, I don't see how it would be relevant this episode, though, if it's about Fluttershy Sanctuary, so I don't know. <laughs> Fluttershy feeding birds, but not the bunny. There she goes. So rarities, uh, so her fashion is, uh, is being a problem. It's a problem. Well, that's an abomination. Oh, no. She's gonna, okay, so she's gonna close the shop and she wants Fluttershy to run it instead of closing it. So Rarity asked some other people to. Uh, she asked everyone. Boulder. Uh, ha, ha. Joke. I guess Mod's calendar is still filled up with fucking her new boyfriend. <laughs> okay, so now I should actually, like, pay attention to this new intro. Pretty sure the song is the same. Got Mod hitting a rock. Oh, there's uh, Big Mac with his, whatever her name was, students, all their little things they made. Woo! Got flirty baby, Spike holding a shield he wants to eat. I don't know. New intro, I guess. Anything. There's like nothing in that shop. There's like two coat racks of like solid color. Obtuse. Why would you call clothes obtuse? That's like always an insult to call something obtuse. Whatever. So Fluttershy's gonna suck ass at this. Uh, Fluttershy doesn't know how to- Ooh, shit. Fluttershy's being yelled at by a Karen. <laughs> Fashion psychic. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. This is so dumb. If she conquered her shyness, shouldn't I mean her name is just Flutter? <sighs> yeah, I'm getting bored already. Uh, she tied her hair herself up. So of course Fluttershy is not going to be able to do this job effectively. So how's that going to get resolved? Oh no! Wait, what? She made friends with the raccoons, I guess? So Fluttershy is going to wear that. Hurry, friend! <sighs> Just the way she just said furry friends. Oh, that just makes me think of, like, actual furries. Oh, jeez. So, of course, Fluttershy is gonna fuck up this interaction. Oh, she doesn't know thread count. What? That's a magical suit. Okay, now it's uh, Fluttershy imitating rarity. It's just getting boring. What? Okay, so she's just gonna say a bunch of nonsense words to get them to buy it. But, of course, this is gonna be stressful. I hate this fake voice. It's so annoying. Oh, no. She's walking by the rarity telling about shops. It's very scared. Oh, she's gonna go back and see Fluttershy. Uh, so now she isn't concerned at all. Oh, just back to boring. But this is the obvious fake it till you make it thing. So I guess, I don't know, Fluttershy's gonna get too far away from who she is and then that's gonna be the lesson. Or she's just gonna be too much of an asshole. She just said, ooh, fashion terms, faking shit, snootiness. I, I think I'm supposed to be laughing here. Oh no, the snooty just won't work on this asshole because she doesn't like fashion. High key savage look. Oh my f- <laughs> What did she just say? High key savage look for you? Oh, that just made me cringe so hard. Oh, is this gonna be emo Fluttershy? She's gonna go dress up as emo. Yeah, this is emo Fluttershy. This is emo Fluttershy. She's just gonna get her roles too much and start being a dick. Too oh my f- was it ever, like, a thing to say lit unironically? Like, I can't remember any time period where, where someone unironically said, this is lit, like, and meant it. Like, whatever. And this was, what, 2018, I think? No one was saying lit in 2018 unironically. Like, oh, whatever. What the fuck was that scream?
Ooh, Fluttershy's just being an asshole now. And that's the problem. Slow down, everyone. Oh, he said everyone, not every raccoon. Tell everyone Wait a minute, did she just say everyone again? I don't know why they just decided to start doing that. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's just like, I noticed it. So you got pretentious Fluttershy, you got hipster Fluttershy, and emo Fluttershy. Ooh, small town ponies. <sighs> Let's get out of this aura of positivity before it consumes us. What the fuck? Wait, why is she, why is her calling them rodents like bad? They are rodents. That's they're like one of the categories they belong to. Oh my god, that was only the second commercial break. Uh, it's the fashion show now. <laughs> What? They are rodents. That's like that's like calling them a mammal or something. Like what? So they're all just leaving. I can't even. Ugh, I can't even. That's a, look. That's another phrase. Like was that ever like an actual phrase? Uh, so now everyone's leaving because whatever. Uh, getting bored again. Wait. <laughs> Okay, she has to fire all three versions of- all three versions of Fluttershy. You're like, totally terminated. Hipster talk. There's normal Fluttershy. Uh, she likes the birds again. Yeah, she has what it takes. She doesn't need to pretend to be someone else. This is actually almost over. Oh, of course. Now she has inspiration for the final shit. Oh, uh, new dress. Wow, I don't care. Oh, now they all like Fluttershy. Oh, there she goes. Ugh, whatever. I guess this is also Fluttershy, like, standing up to her for herself or whatever. And saying more shit. Uh, okay. So that was, uh, pretty boring. So, pretty simple setup. Rarity needs Fluttershy to run the shop, her fashion shop. So, Fluttershy's like, ah, I'm too scared to do it. And then she's like, Rarity's like, nah, you can do it. And these rats convince Fluttershy to be to play characters. And so she ends up being, like, a pretentious one. One, a hipster one and an emo one so we got actual emo fluttershy which is just so it wasn't as funny as i thought it would be really but it had, it had some lines that were just like absurd then um so fluttershy takes the characters too seriously and then she has to realize oh i can't be an asshole and all this shit was inside her the whole time so she's like ah i am i can do it <sighs> This was, like, really boring in a lot of places. There was the occasional line where I'm, like, mildly entertained by it. But mostly it was just Fluttershy slowly becoming more and more of an asshole. Talking to more customers. Just, ugh. This also had, like, a ton of, like, I'm pretty sure very outdated phrases. Like, they were saying lit and... I forget what the other ones were, but like, a bunch of these phrases that I'm pretty sure no one ever says unironically. So it just, just comes off as cringe as like a, and as like a, a fellow kid's meme. You know, like where some 50 year old mother tries to relate to her kid, you know, being like, you know, I'm gonna go dab up some di- <laughs> I'm gonna go make some lit dinner so then we can dab on it or <laughs> say something like that that means nothing like it's not even using the words correctly and no one says the words unironically anyway yeah pretty boring though just the fake it till you make it story kind of i mean i don't know i was not entertained by this really i wasn't this again didn't really have anything to do with the school there was one mention of it with twilight saying oh i have to you know make lessons or whatever for the school but that's it so i'm kind of surprised it's been you know they, they, they didn't really do anything with the school after the premiere so far i mean i guess this does kind of improve on or build on flutter shy being like you know more confident and learning more standing up for herself stuff so there's that i guess i mean obviously the characters come a long way from what was the first introduction wasn't it like she was like treating spike like a baby like you know as if he was like a baby animal or something i don't really remember but now she's like running a store pretending to be these characters i don't know yeah not a very entertaining episode uh i give this a three and a half out of ten because it was only it was only boring and in places not the entire way through and i think i laughed one time i don't remember at what though but still pretty shit blah